What's going on everyone and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS quick tutorial. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to model a golf ball by using SOLIDWORKS. I designed this with the intent to make it as easy and efficiently as possible without introducing any complicated features. There are many different ways to model the dimples, but I found this method to be the easiest. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe as that would really help the YouTube algorithm. Comment below on what you'd like to see model. If you are interested to see how I modeled this, you may choose to download this in the link below. Let's jump right into it. Alright, the first thing you want to do is you want to set up your feature tree by adding all the axes on the X, Y, Z plane. Doing so would allow you to have a better control of your design and to help you with replicating dimples later in the video when you are using the circular pattern feature. After you're done adding the axis, what I'd like to do next is to add global variables. Global variables can be found under Tools, Equations, and it can be very helpful especially if you want to link important dimensions to your design tree. The first variable that I'm adding is Ball Diameter. I'm giving a value of 1.68 inches. The next global variable that I want to add is Dimple Diameter. I'm giving a value of 0. 210. And finally, dimple depth. I'm assigning a value of 0 Next, I'm going to be revolving this by a quarter of a circle. I'm going to go ahead and add a sketch of a circle here. And the purpose for this is so that uh, we can start adding dimples to our design tree. Here the idea is to add a sphere as a separate body and then later subtracting the sphere from the quarter circle that you see here. I'm going to be defining the depth of this sphere and that is 0 0.04 inches. The diameter has been defined in the global variables earlier and it is about 0 0.21 inches.
All right. Here, the idea is to pack as many of these tiny little black balls that you see here onto this quarter circle as we can. And this is so that we can minimize the gaps that are in between the dimples. Trust me, this is going to look really, really good at the end. Using the circular pattern tool, I'm going to be spending the next six to eight minutes to fill this quarter circle with as many black balls as I can.
Hey everyone, so here comes the moment of truth. I'm going to be using the combined tool to subtract all the black spheres from the quarter circle. And we're going to see if this method works. Hopefully this works. Let's see. And voila! Everything looks to be consistent. The dimples look great. However, there's just one thing that I'm not really exactly satisfied about. And that is, on the corner, as you can see here, there seems to be one dimple that is kind of out of place. So I'm going to attempt to fix this by moving that slightly upwards and let's see how that looks like Now, after adjusting the position of the dimple, there appears to be another problem. The dimple seems to be encroaching onto the other dimples. And therefore, I'm going to try to fix this by scaling this down a tiny bit. Now the final step in the process also happens to be one of my favorite tools to use in SOLIDWORKS and that is the mirror tool on SOLIDWORKS. What we're going to do here is we're going to be mirroring this part to form a full sphere.
and there you have it. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more new content. Till the next video.